Afternoon, this is Deacon on the Appalachian Trail. I'm up in Maine. Uh, it's where I'm coming from today. Uh, this is really a good break for me today. New Hampshire, really tough. Maine, really tough. Uh, getting down to the wire here. I'm going to be crossing over to the 2,000 mile mark probably tomorrow. Um, but this is not typical of Maine right here. This is uh, kind of a gradual upslope, um, which kind of plateaued off here a little bit so I'm taking a taking a chance to do a video you can see there's a lot of leaves coming down talked to a local a few days ago and they said that this isn't typical that they're about three weeks ahead of schedule here on the foliage um, on the bright side haven't had rain for a while and I don't think we're supposed to get it again for a while it's actually been pretty warm actually it was hot last night uh, I think it probably only got down to about 70 degrees maybe a little cooler last night kind of kind of difficult sleeping but hey i'll take it uh, as opposed to that bitter cold um it's about probably 80 degrees right now so this is really nice i went through a little town called rangeley in maine it's on a lake a uh, nice little town resupplied a little bit but trying not to carry a lot of food because the extra weight's just killing me uh over 2,000 miles, well, almost 2,000 miles, getting close to that 5 million steps. Uh, that's the average steps taken on the Appalachian Trail, and that, that's just on the trail. That doesn't count the blue blazes getting into town, getting back on the trail. I'm headed toward a town of Stratton, a couple of little hotel-type things there, a hostel, a post office, um, and a resupply, I believe, a little market trying to when I get the chance I've been trying to eat some fruits and vegetables uh, bananas apples oranges trying to get away from so much of the sweet quick burning carbs uh, like I said uh, you know closing in on 2,000 miles and I'm just getting beat up not so much beat up it's just a lot of walking and you know not a spring chicken of course I'm not an antique yet either but closer to that um, so it's kind of slowed me down a little bit. New Hampshire and Maine has put me down to about 10 miles in a day, which to some sounds like a lot, but I would like to be up in the 12 to 15 mile range. I think once I get a little further up into Maine, I got a couple more mountain ranges, pretty good sized mountains ahead of me here. Uh, and then I know some of it kind of levels off a little bit in the 100 mile wilderness. Not to say that it's going to be easy, but I think it'll be a little bit less strenuous on the legs, the ankles, the knees. Um, anyway, I'm up in Maine. Like I said, 2,000 mile mark tomorrow, hopefully. Um, if I get the mileage that I need to, I should be finishing up around the end of the first week in October, which is my plan. I uh, still don't have a plan nailed down how to get back home. At this point, don't really care, to be honest, because I don't know... I don't even know what my plans are when I get home. Uh, you know, I've talked to quite a few of you, visited with quite a few of you, chatted, private messaged, I had a few come visit me. And I think it's pretty clear that, uh, I don't know, the change, this trail has kind of changed my outlook and my plan and, and what, I, what I'm looking to get and what I'm looking to do out of life. So anyway, uh, marching on, uh, beautiful day, and I'll catch up with you later.